Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new vlog. I have decided today is the day that I'm going to put up the Christmas tree. Hopefully Alex will come and help me in a minute, I hope, because this is such a slog. I've um, bought myself a port for the occasion. Well, I'll say it's a slog, but the tree is pretty huge and it did take us hours last time, so I've kind of been putting it off. At the same time, I'm gonna put up a Christmas film and I've got my port. I'm gonna put some nibbles out and some mince pies and then we can get all festive. So I'm actually really quite excited. We've just driven back from the north. It's my brother's birthday last night, so we had like a family party up in Wigan. Just driven home this morning and now we have the rest of the evening, it's like four-ish now, the rest of the evening to get the lounge looking Christmassified. So I'm going to clear out the space ready. Like this is the space we had the Christmas tree last year and I think it is still the perfect place for it. I'm just gonna clear this out and Get the place ready for Santa! <laughs> to my self-obsessed <laughs> and the self-portrait party because I was boiling hot. I am going to be decorating pretty much the exact same as last year. I absolutely loved all of my decorations. The uh, tree is Balsam Hill and all the decorations are from Balsam Hill. And this year I've got a couple of new, only a couple of new bits. Um, mainly actually more for the other tree. They really make the tree look amazing having these picks. So. So these are new picks that I've got. Oh gosh, it's gonna be just everywhere. Oh my gosh. So these, I think these are red magnolia picks. The glitter magnolia picks in red 612. So the idea with the picks is that you put them. Oh beautiful! Wow. These are really pretty. So you open them up and they're a gorgeous little flower. And the idea is that all you have to do is just thread them down each branch and you leave them sat on top of the branches as like a little ornament like this. And it just really makes such a difference to the style of your tree because it just really fills it up with these gorgeous big flowers and colors. I also have same as last year, if you were here last year, I've also got the acorn, the big acorn picks. Again, just the same way, you just thread them through the branches onto the tree and then they just kind of sit along the branches and you can pull them a bit further out if you want to. But it just adds that extra texture rather than just putting baubles on here. Um, I just loved it last year, my tree was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I'm trying to get the same vibe again. I'm also gonna put on my beautiful red tartan ribbon. Again, all this stuff, by the way, is Balsam Hill. I just went a bit crazy last year on Balsam Hill. And again, I kind of wrap this kind of haphazardly through the tree and it just looks divine. What I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna get a picture up. Yeah, so this was my, so this is my tree that I posted. I posted this on, on Fro Home last year. Um, so this is exactly what I'm going for again. So I've got a number of the acorn picks, I've got the cherry picks, I've got the beautiful red ribbon running through it. And then at the very top, I put this beautiful crown of red berries. I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's to anyone else's taste, but as far as I'm concerned, this was the most beautiful tree I've ever seen. So <laughs> that's what I want to do again. That's the idea. But the addition this year is of the beautiful magnolia red flowers. This is already lit, so I don't need to put any lights on it. So what I'm gonna do is literally put all of the picks on the tree first, before then putting the baubles, like the baubles are the finishing touches. The first thing to go on are the picks, and they are all inside of these boxes, so that's perfect. And then, and then I also have a set of classic poinsettia picks as well, red set of 12. Oh wow, these are the poinsettia picks. 
look at those with that like diamond insert in the middle. Oh my goodness, I mean these would actually look glorious, maybe even as like a feature inside of a vase or something. I mean that could look really quite pretty actually. Even like say if I don't have enough space on the actual tree, could maybe. It works well as well because prosettes are poisonous to dogs, which I only found out last year when someone messaged me and was like, Victoria, get rid of your poinsettia. So this is a great way of having some poinsettias. I actually really love this, just as a feature. I might keep it like this. I really, really like that. It's really cute. is complete doesn't she look beautiful she's such a majestic queen i love her i really love as well the poinsettia pics down there that is such a beautiful way of doing the poinsettia plant without it being poisonous to bow i actually love that i don't think i want to change that i really really love it because this is so full already i don't think it needs the extra poinsettia but next year maybe i can use them the only thing i might do is add a couple more berry pics at the very top to give her even more of a crown. But otherwise, I think she's pretty much there. And then I've got my berry garland across here that ties in with everything. Yeah, she's beautiful. I'm so, so, so thrilled. Um, however, I'm gonna leave it for the night. I'm not going to do my, I'm not gonna do the hallway for now. Just because I need to start packing for my trip away to Chicago. So I need to start packing. Alex has been packing. Um, I was just quite enjoying doing it myself, so Alex was cooking whilst I was doing the tree. But I'm so happy with her. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, guys. What you didn't see was this beautiful garland over this side, too. This is another gorgeous Balsam Hill wreath. I've got two of these, actually. One of which I want to put going up the banister in the hallway. But this is so pretty from here. This has these kind of gilded pine cones. And again, this carries on the red theme. It's almost like huge berries and little berries and gold section so this is so beautiful i just sort of draped it over i've just draped it over here as that little extra i think that looks so beautiful so the room is now complete this looks absolutely beautiful So then I get something much more beautiful wintry bouquet for here and then I think this room is done. Hi guys, good morning. Don't mind my face, I've literally just got a layer, a layer of tan on. Because I'm filming today and I was so pale this morning that I just thought I'll put on a, a bit of tan for like an hour. So that's why it looks like obviously a little bit mad <sighs> honestly i'm just i'm so on edge right now really stressed i'm still like shaky <laughs> um so we're going to chicago tomorrow we're flying to chicago and also it's the first time going back to the usa in a couple of years and we've been so excited about it for months and neither of us have looked at what was necessary for the flight i mean i'd kind of browsed over it and i saw it needed a covid test and it said you can do an at-home test that's fine. So I was like, oh, great. That must mean that they're now allowing the NHS tests. So it makes it really nice and simple for everyone just to do them at home, show them, upload it to the website and that'll be fine. Anyway, as you can imagine, and as a lot of you are probably screaming at me right now, that isn't the case. There's obviously, there's probably no difference between the NHS test and a test that's given to you by a clinic. They're probably almost the exact same thing. The only difference is that a clinic then sends you a fit to fly certificate to say you've taken the test. That's the only real difference. So we have this morning, like all last night I was 
looking at this and realizing we've done it wrong. We've got 24 hours in order to take a COVID test that we don't have. So we've had to drive about half an hour out this morning to a pharmacy, get an over-the-counter lateral flow test, go home, do it, submit all the results. And we've just, a couple of hours later, got our certificates back and I've uploaded them to, the, to this very fly app and it's all gone through okay. So I think we're sorted now, but honestly, the stress levels this morning of realizing that if, if this doesn't work, we have no other option because we literally have no time left. So I'm just still like up here. So if any of you guys um, travel to the USA, don't take my word for it completely, but as far as I'm aware, you know, you have to send off one of those ki kits to do at home that you then submit online, someone checks it and then sends you a certificate. You can't do an NHS test. Don't make my stupid fault. And honestly, I've been so, so, so busy the past few weeks. I've not even thought to look into it properly because I just thought, oh, it'll be absolutely fine. And it hasn't been. So it's been an extremely stressful morning. Me and Alex like screaming at each other <laughs> because we're both just so frazzled, driving so fast to this pharmacy to get back and sort it out. But anyway, it's done now. It's halfway through the day. I've just ordered a Costa coffee to come to the house because I was that on edge about everything. Now I'm gonna get on to my work for the day, but let me, let me just go and show you, well, I'm just glad that I've got the bedroom sorted because as you saw, it was an absolute tip and that always stresses me out. Oh, I'm not showing you. I'm thrilled to say our brand new bedside tables have arrived and they are just fantastic. They fit perfectly now in this room. Um, I mean, I loved the ones we had before and I was enjoying the juxtaposition of kind of the modern versus Parisian styles, but there was only one drawer in them and I wanted a little bit more space by the side of my bed to put things like my sleep masks and all of my pots of cream and skincare. And so I I saw these on Cox and Cox and it's part of actually the same range as the chair so they fit perfectly together they are beautiful and I'm so happy this side of my room now looks so cozy and actually I sit on this chair a lot actually now just sort of curl up on that chair and I'll do emails or I'll edit my reels um, so I absolutely love it but don't they look lovely and then this one on the side of Alex's bed oh my cushion <laughs> Alex has a access a little aromatherapy associates diffuser diffuser in fact i'm gonna have to buy some more oil for it because we're almost out we use it every single day um yeah but it does they just look gorgeous we're so happy with them we can put so much more in these now so yeah they're they're a new addition so far down here i have this gorgeous garland here again i had this here last year i have the matching wreath as well on the front door this is again balsam hill it's a really lovely one, of course it lights up as well. It's just really lovely and bushy, which is why I really love this one. But then into the front room and look how magical it is as soon as you walk in. Honestly, this tree is the dream. Um, like I say, I need to just put a couple more berries on that side there. And my floral crown will be, will be my berry crown will be perfect. But it's nice to see it in this light because when the light is so yellow and you see all of the the yellow lights on it. It's hard to actually see the detail. So now you can really see these, these really make it. These are so special. I mean, look at the detail on them. They are such incredible quality too. They've really made the tree this year, I think. I mean, I loved it last year, but the feel have really made it. You can just see the gorgeous tartan ribbon as well that forms its way all the way down. It's just like texture, texture, texture constantly. And that's what I love about it. Really adore the poinsettias here and the berry garland across here is just perfect. Um, yeah, thrilled. And as I showed you last night as well, this gorgeous wreath. I mean, the colors couldn't be more perfect for in here. Not wreath, garland. I always mix them up. Yeah, so it's beautiful. It just hangs down each side. Oh, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. As soon as I get a lovely little wintry white and red wreath. Um, wreath? A white and red. Okay, for here, I'll be thrilled to bits. I think it'll be perfectly finished then. And maybe even something just to go on here, actually. But then I won't be able to light it. I put foliage. So, I'm so happy. Okay, what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the Saint-Tropez bronzing water mist mousse, bronzing water mousse on just so it can be setting in for the day because this doesn't rub off, rub off on your clothes just to try and give myself a bit of tan for later when I'm, I'm shooting some more pictures. I think that's a good idea. Real done. This is a full Christian Louboutin look and I'm just in love with their products. I mean, not only is the packaging just so glamorous and luxurious, 
but the pigmentation payoff is just like outstanding. Beautiful makeup. Oh, let me get some light. So I've just used such a big mixture of not only the metallic shadows, like this beautiful deep cherry shade is this one, shade 610. Went over top, I don't know if I've shown you this, this is a Louboutin case, and then you can put your refillable pans inside of here. So this is one of the eyeshadow palettes, and again, the pigmentation and payoff is outstanding. But then within the reel, I also changed and put this little palette in, which is a highlight and a double blush. And again, it does look so pretty, it's beautiful. So it's such a good, I mean, how beautiful is that case as well? That would be such a gorgeous little Christmas present idea. And then for lips, I'm wearing, I think it's a 01 Rouge Louboutin lipstick as well. It's got the, the red sole just on there as well. But that's what I'm wearing and they're in these custom cases so you can now get these beautiful different coloured cases like this and then you buy your refillable lipstick that you put inside. You'll see all this in the reel if you see the reel. And then they've also launched, they've also launched little lipstick charms and I've got this one on this necklace. So you've got these cute little charms. You could probably wear this as like a little necklace if you wanted to. And a super extra Louboutin lipstick case. Inside this, I was gonna use this one. This is beige curtain. I was going to use this one, but I was doing a Christmas look and I thought, you've always seen me in a nude lip. So why not try the classic Louboutin red instead? And then to finish off, this is amazing guys. I remember when I went to the Christian Louboutin and had all the perfumes in the bathroom and I'd never tried them before and something drew me to this one because it's like a big pineapple on the top with the red sole shoes and I tried this one and it's so me. This reminds me, this is going to sound strange but this really reminds me, if you remember Escada perfumes back in the day like 15 years ago I used to be obsessed because they had this really passion fruity, grapefruity, really extra fruity sweet smell. There was one called Rock in Rio and I was obsessed with it. It was so fruity. And so I've always loved fruity, fruity fragrances. Um, this, and this one is called Luby Funk and it's really fruity, like absolutely beautiful. And it, obviously this is a much more luxurious, gorgeous version of the Escada, of course. I'm not saying they're the same, but something about it really reminds me of that really fruity, fun, vibrant smell. It's got so many like fruity notes in it. So I love this. And I mean, look at the bottle. So extra, I love it. And of course to finish off, I could have done my nails. I mean, have you seen these before? These, this packaging is out of this world packaging. It's literally a weapon. Um, and I would paint my nails. And in fact, this would be such an amazing shade. That is the most gorgeous, like magenta plum, shade 014, Sevillana. Um, but at the moment, I'm just really loving my nudes. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I've just finished off. I got our Costa, feeling a lot more relaxed as well now after that whole debacle this morning. Guys, don't make my mistake if you're going on holiday. Right now, on to my next project of the day which is with my Teresa and I'm doing a bit of a Christmas party lookbook vibes so I thought I would film it from here because I haven't as of yet done any Christmas party outfit inspiration and I always usually do it every year and I worry that I'm going to run out of time this year so I thought let's do it and I'll show you so this isn't meant to be for YouTube it's actually going to be a blog post but for any of you guys that are watching on here I thought I would show you the Christmas party looks. Sorry, I'm just hastily trying to put away all of my beautiful products. Tidy up the place a little bit because it just gets on top of me when it's such a mess. Oh, what have I done? What have I got on myself? Okay, back to normal. Right, let's, um, let me show you some of these Christmas party looks. Party outfit number one is slinky cowl neck metallic silver pewter almost dress. Really pretty, super elegant, but really understated. I love a cow neck. It is such a mature and sophisticated style. It always kind of makes you think of old Hollywood actresses. I and mean, it's such a beautiful way of kind of framing the decolletage. I have just added a little belt with this. I've added this little Tory Burch belt just to cinch it because I felt it just needed that little extra shape in the middle and I actually love it with that added. In fact, let me 
I'm going to make it a little slacker just so it doesn't make the fabric so taut. I don't want the fabric to ruche too much. But yeah, just pulling it in at the waist I feel really helps with the shape. Otherwise, it's a really gorgeous flowing dress. Such an easy one for either Christmas Day. You can wear a gorgeous little cardigan over the top or a blazer even. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love this one. Let me know what you think. And with that, I thought I'd pair it with these gorgeous pink heels from Jean Vito Rossi. And the, th the reason I think the pink works quite well is that this has quite a taupey pink undertone to it. I thought these would just add a little bit of metallic, fancy flair to the overall style. Rather than going nude or anything like that, I thought these would just give it that little extra something special. And the diamantes on the shoes make it a little bit more Christmas glam. Oh, I love! They are a beautiful shape, gorgeous long heel length. I mean, I always love Javi Rossi's. I think I've got mine a size half too small actually here. What have I gone for? I've gone for 37. Okay, I'll need to size up a half size in these, I think. These are 37, but they're quite tight on the toes and they're pushing ever so slightly over the back. But I love how they look. That crisscross over the front of the toe is absolutely beautiful. And the extra glitz and sparkle on the front is absolutely stunning. Love, love, love this as an outfit. Let me know what you think. I'm not going to keep all these looks, by the way. That's why there's like tags hanging off them and everything. I've tried to like tuck them in so you can't see them too much. Um, but let me know if you love any of these particularly. I'd love to keep maybe one of the four outfits. So elegant, right? Okay, this next dress I am amazed by. I think this dress might be about £150 in total. So I expected, I don't really know what I expected, but I thought it was really pretty on the model and to try it. And actually it is absolutely gorgeous. It's even got pockets. I mean, it's got that very stretchy material to it, but that's kind of nice for your Christmas day meal. But I absolutely love it. The length is gorgeous on me. I'm 5'7" and it's just about skimming the floor, so with heels, be gorgeous. I love the neckline, I love the fact that it kind of has this elasticated uh, seam underneath the boobs, which kind of holds you in and up, because obviously you don't really want to be wearing a bra. But it's got long straps, not adjustable, but long straps, I mean, it fits pretty perfectly, actually. I absolutely love it, and the colour is gorgeous. Like, this is my favourite kind of red, this cherry red, I talk about it a lot. Anyway, I thought I'd put those with something super glam and glitzy because it is so technically quite demure. I mean, the red makes it feel more festive, but I thought why not add a little bit of glitz and glam to make it that little bit extra festive spirit. Um, these are half in a size 37. Let's see how we do. Yeah, perfect. Okay, these fit perfectly to size, so that's good. These are really pretty. They also do the mules in a pointed toe, but they were none left, so I, so I went for the rounded toe mules. But yeah, they are lovely. It's that little bit of extra sparkle underneath the dress is really gorgeous. Let me just check that you can see the shoes. I feel like the pointed toe might look even better. A little bit of extra sparkle is absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? You know I chose a perfect little black dress in this Christmas party looks guide. What is this? For my blog post. I need to go with a gorgeous little black dress because I don't think any Christmas is without the perfect LBD. And this is absolutely amazing. I might have to keep this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is just beautiful. Look how sparkly. Can you see how sparkly this section is? It's beautiful. It feels really comfortable. There's nothing restrictive across your stomach. You notice it's not super tight. But guys, look at the boots I have for this look. Holy moly, they are absolutely incredible. Wow. So I've gone for these. <laughs> I think this might be my favorite look of all of them. These boots are super extra. I hear you saying it. But for this, for this little dress, oh my gosh. Guys, this is amazing! These are in flipping insane. Oh my god. Look. Look! <laughs> this is one of those outfits where it's like, 
or people are like, if I die, bury me in this outfit. I think this might be mine. These boots, oh my goodness. I love it, the whole look, the extra boots. Also, I just need a, I just need a tan. I need to shave my legs, I need a tan. I'm gonna level with you guys here. We're all family here. With a tan, this would really like level up a little bit on me. I just don't like myself pale. You do you, but I just don't like myself pale. But anyway, um, I'm in love. Obviously, a dress like this, you could go for little tiny stiletto heels, of course you could, or even a beautiful pair of tights. Like my Fendi tights look great with this. But if you wanna go extra, these are insane. <sighs> okay, this is outfit three. Got to do one more for outfit four and then you can let me know one, two, three or four, which was your favourite look. I'm in love. <laughs> okay, last but not least, guys, a full cherry look with the matching heels. Um, sorry about this little tag here. How pretty. It's a little Peter Pan collar. This frilly material. It's a little bit more sort of pretty and girly for me, but it's so beautiful and it's perfect for like Christmas looks. This is really adorable, I think. And with the, with the matching heels, these are a pair. These are a pair of aquasauras with the perspex and then the little bunny ears at the back. It's so pretty and they are perfect. They could not match this dress any better. So I love it. It's a really great length, lovely and flowy, A-line kind of shape. So you're not feeling, you know, like anything's too tight for when you're eating or if you're drinking quite a lot. But with these heels, so comfortable, by the way, these heels are really comfortable. They really grip your feet in as well. I love, 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 love the heels. So that's all four looks. We've pretty much lost light now. I just need to shoot this for the blog post. And then me and Alex are done for the day with the project. And then I can get packing my case for my holiday. Okay, so let me know. Um, outfit one, two, three or four, which do you prefer and which do you think is a keeper even if it's a pair of shoes so like say if it's like outfit three shoes outfit four dress whatever i mean this would also look incredible with those tall diamante boots as well let's be honest <laughs> so yeah let me know guys anyway anyway i have a feeling that this might be it that i have to film for the evening so i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope that you've enjoyed this vlog the first vlog of vlogmas I thought I would start Vlogmas a little early, by the way, this year because Vlogmas doesn't just start in December. Christmas festive time start kind of late November in our house. I thought I'd start now. I hope you've enjoyed the first Vlogmas and I'll see you all soon. Bye.